A disturbing discovery has gripped a community in Philadelphia's Mantua section. As they cleaned a lot of debris, city workers found the remains of a small child inside a duffel bag. Police are now digging through missing persons cases and looking for help from the neighborhood as they pursue the sad task of figuring out who was this child and who could have done this to them. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live at police headquarters with the latest on this investigation. Good morning. Good morning, Tam. This investigation is ongoing. People working in the area found the body and they called police right away. They opened up the bag and found the remains of what appears to be a juvenile between the ages of two and four years old. He was crying and stuff, so I was like, I, I just feel bad. I'm sorry that, you know, that happened. And I came out and cried and prayed. Just hope they find some closure to this, because this, this is sad. No baby deserved it. No baby deserved it. An alarming discovery in Mantua yesterday morning. A young child's body found in a black duffel bag around 9.45 a.m. on the 600 block of North 38th Street. Philadelphia police say members of the city's Community Life Improvement Program, or CLIP, found the remains as they worked in the back of a property. The body was severely decomposed. It's unclear how long the child had been there. Police did not know the gender. The medical examiner was called to the scene. Police don't know if this child is connected to any missing persons cases. Authorities must first determine the child's identity. Detectives spent much of the morning talking with neighbors, including one who shared months of outside home surveillance video with detectives. I didn't know if it had the footage that they were looking for, but then I realized that it had up to four months saved on it, so I did provide them with the, the entire uh, camera light card. I was just like, here, take it. Whatever you can find, you can find. I hope that it it helps. It does have night vision on it, so hopefully they will be able to see the person's face. So police are looking at video. They're looking for tips. Call police if you have any information that may help in this case. We're live at police headquarters. Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News.